I guess. So today I'm gonna cut the horses back. But before we start with the video, I wanted to thank you all for that much support. I already have 10 subscribers and so many views in just two videos that uh, it's just amazing and blown away. Thank you all for that support. And if you didn't subscribe already, think about subscribing and liking the video. And if you want to see more, or I, I do a lot of gardening foraging, emergency preparedness, homesteading, uh, sustainable living topics, please consider subscribing. Horses are a really popular uh, landscape part, especially because they do have uh, low maintenance. They do like as much shade as possible, but other than that, they don't need water, I don't water them at all. We had a month uh, in July with no rain at all. I still didn't water the horses. They are easy over water, so I don't want to water them too often. They do like full shade. The ones I show you in a minute, they do have um, a little bit of sun. So the leaves tend to burn off. And I do cut the bad leaves off now. Let me show you that. The reason why I'm doing that in the summer, there are actually two reasons for that. One is that the horses, the flowers are about to be done, so they are not looking that good anymore. They are all falling off and being done and dying off, so I cut the flower heads off, but I also cut the really bad leaves off. The reason for that is uh, our horses have a little bit of sun even though horses prefer to have as much shade as possible. The ones on the patio do get a little bit of sun so in summer they do sometimes get a little bit of burnt leaves which ends in not looking that good. So for only aesthetic reasons I'm gonna cut some of the leaves off in summer too. I'm gonna show you that in a minute and I'll show you how to do it. All you need is a pair of pruners and a bucket or wheelbarrow depending on how much you're gonna cut out and you can get started so let's get it done. Alright I'll show you the flower on that one. You see it's pretty much done. I do cut the leaves on another spot in the back because those leaves are pretty good. They are in full shade, but it's easier for you to see it. So I have the flower stem here. I can't go all the way down or I'm gonna cut the whole leaves off and I don't want that so cut it right here. If you have some seeds on there you can keep them and grow them. There are no seeds on that one. Um, or you can do it like me and put them in a compost. You can see it's a little bit messy. There are a couple of really bad leaves. Worse and less worse. I can't cut them all out if I cut those here all out for example I'm gonna have a big hole in here I don't want to have that so I cut them in pieces out what I'm doing is basically going down here go down as I can to ensure that I only have that one leaf cut it off take it out let me do the rest and I'll show you you can see there's still some in here, but most of it is out. There's a bit of bigger hole in here and in here, bigger than I wanted it. But that's okay, they're gonna fill back in in no time. You already can see the new leaves coming up at the bottom. So that's how you cut the horses back. That's all I have for today. It's a little bit of a shorter video today, but 
I'm looking forward to the next one and a whole lot of changes coming up next week with uh, more shorts and reels on Instagram and YouTube if you didn't check that out yet check my Instagram account out I'll post a couple more videos short ones on there and on YouTube next starting next week